guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yenny. First things first, I'm still working on trying to deal with this background issue. I saw a lot of your feedback in my previous videos, so I'm trying to make my background a little less distracting. Those are the words I'm looking for. So bear with me while I try to figure out how to do this. For this week's Mental Health Monday, I thought it'd be really interesting to talk about career paths for the psychology major or the ones who already have psychology degrees and kind of share a little bit with you about how I became a social worker and a therapist. So you decided on becoming a psychology major. Whether you know this or not, at least when I was an undergrad, there was a lot of kind of preconceived notions about the psychology major. So I wanted to sit here and let you know that you've made a great choice and might be a little biased because I love psychology. The psychology degree is one of the most sought out degrees in universities in the United States. The last study that was done on this topic, which was around 2014 or 15, 117,557 psychology degrees were awarded. Statistics show that 25% of graduates with psychology degrees go into higher education to get their master's or their PhD in psychology. 18% go to pursue higher education but not in psychology so I guess I fall in that 18% where I went into social work, and 57% of graduates go straight into the workforce, so they get jobs right away. I think there's this misconception that it's hard for psych majors to get jobs because a college degree in psychology qualifies you for a variety of different kinds of jobs in all different kinds of fields, but it doesn't qualify you for one specific particular job, if you know what I mean. So what I'm trying to say is a uh, psychology degree is very versatile. You could become pretty much anything with a psych degree because you're working with people people, just some that I've seen personally from my friends or even offers that I've gotten or like interviews that I've done. You can work in retail, you can work in hospitality, you can work in PR, human resource management, communications, social media management, you're taking the time to sit down and think about how people's minds work and I don't want to say in every field or type of job you'll be doing but in most types of jobs and places you'll be working in, you will be interacting with people. I will link below an article that shows a much more compiled list of the types of jobs that you can have with a psychology degree because I can't really think of all of them off the top of my head right now so that is linked in the description down below also with all of the articles that I'm referencing in this video and also some extra websites that I thought could be helpful if you are considering a psychology degree in college or if you have a degree and you're not really sure where to go with it those are all linked in the description. I hope they help. So if you're not going into the workforce, a lot of psychology majors decide to pursue higher education, so graduate school, whether it's a master's degree or a PhD. I personally went for a master's degree in social work. So let's go first to the social work route since we're already talking about that. So for me, I decided to pursue my master's in social work because I love studying psychology in undergrad and I was just kind of thinking, what do I see myself doing in the near future? And I really wanted to kind of get my hands dirty, kind of be on the forefront of helping people with therapy and I realized that at least from my own research of comparing different kinds of master's degree programs a social work master's degree would allow me to have a full-on internship the entirety of the two years of the program so that I'm working and gaining field experience while also learning in class. I thought that kind of balance of being in a full-time internship while being a student would be a really, really beneficial experience for me as a young professional, and it most definitely was the right choice for me. That topic I will go much more in depth in a future video, but yes, so I went to the master's degree route of social work. Another option of graduate school for those with psychology degrees is a master's in mental health counseling or a master's in psychology. Now with a master's in psychology or mental health counseling, the program is very, very different from the social work master's program. There is a lot of overlap that I can also cover in a future video. I can't do that in this one video or this will be way too long. But if anything from my experience of interacting and talking with other students who are in the master's of mental health counseling program, there's a lot of emphasis on psychotherapy, a lot of um, psychological theories, um, while the social work program, I felt like there was a lot more focus on topics such as advocacy and like social justice movements, more talk on diversity, oppression, power, and privilege in America and in the world, and how that shapes us as therapists and professionals in the world when we 
work with our clients. I've always been uh, very passionate about helping out the oppressed and being very aware of our current events and social justice movements. So the social work master's program worked well for me. So there's a lot of different degrees. Another route is to go into medical school with a psychology degree or even like more of like a biological sciences degree in undergrad. To simply put a difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist is that psychiatrists can prescribe medication and you have to go through all the years of medical school, internship, residency, all of that. Meanwhile, psychologists become psychologists through a PhD, more research-based program as opposed to a medical program. So psychologists cannot prescribe medication or use pharmacology. However, they use psychotherapy and other psychological theories to help their clients. Oh, there's a lot of different things. Another route you could take if you have a psychology degree is you could become a psychiatric nurse practitioner. I have so many articles linked down below. You can read more into it. Next is licensures and certifications. So for me as a social worker, I got my master's degree in social work after I graduated. And then I, I took a master of social work certification exam, which is a national standardized exam. I took it, I passed it, and I became an LMSW, which stands for Licensed Master of Social Worker. And as an LMSW, I work as a therapist and also a case manager. So therapist is what you would think a therapist is. I do a lot of individualized psychotherapy with clients, but also as a social worker, I don't only handle the um, psychological aspect of helping the client but what's great about being a social worker is that I can also help them with case management which is I connect the client with resources that could help them. If you choose to get a master's degree in psychology or mental health counseling that's a completely different program and I'm not an expert in this field so I obviously did some research to make sure I know what I'm talking about I'm not just telling you things there's different kinds of counselors, mental health counselor licensures that you can test for. And all of these licensures, the requirements on how to get them depend on what state you live in. So there is the LMHC, which is a licensed mental health counselor. It says that you need a graduate degree most likely, um, you need to accrue like supervision hours in like a clinical mental health setting and then you need to pass the national clinical mental health counseling exam. There's also the licensed professional counselor, it's like a similar route to get the license. There's also the licensed marriage family therapist. So depending on where you live, um, whatever the rules are, there could be different titles and licenses and certifications that you can test for. So that all wraps into my last point, which is you have to do your research. If you have a psychology degree, are you happy with it? Is this what you want to stick with? Or do you have a psychology degree because you're not sure? So think about it. Are you happy with your psychology degree? Or why do you want a psychology degree? So that's the first one. Second thing I feel like you should really think about is who do you want to work with as a professional in this psychology setting? You know, if you're, whether you want to become a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a licensed mental health counselor, licensed psychiatric counselor, a psychiatric nurse practitioner, there's all these names, right? So who do you want to work with? The third thing I wanted to ask is where do you see yourself working? Do you see yourself working in a hospital? Do you see yourself working in an addiction treatment center? Do you see yourself working in schools? Do you see yourself working in probationary centers? Knowing who you want to work with and where you want to see yourself work can really help you in deciding what route to take with your psychology degree. And the last thing I could ask you is what do you see yourself doing with the psychology degree? So let's say you see yourself 10 years in the future, you still have your psych degree, do you see yourself prescribing medication? Do you see yourself running groups? Groups is like group therapy where it's mostly used in addiction treatment facilities. It's very, very useful, really great research on how group therapy is so beneficial in those settings, which could be another video if you're interested. So do you see yourself working with those who have severe addictions, who are in addiction treatment programs and you're running groups? Or do you see yourself at a hustle and bustle and hospital as a nurse working with patients, but mostly patients who have severe mental illnesses? Do you see yourself as like a school social worker, a school guidance counselor, a school mental health clinician, helping like kids who could be in kindergarten, middle school, high school, whatever age, helping them get through their schoolwork, deal with whatever's going on with home, and kind of being an ally to them in the school place. It all comes back to what I said in the beginning, how the psychology degree is such a versatile degree. I was very anxious because I was hit with those comments like, oh, so you must not really know what you want to do, or like, oh, everyone's a psychology degree. So it's like, 
yeah, that made me nervous. But I did research and I asked around people. I asked around my psychology professors and I started thinking these questions. What do I want to do with this degree? If it's that versatile as the research says, what can I do with it? And what do I want to do with it? I think that's the most important thing. So like I said, I've listed a bunch of resources down below in my description box to kind of jumpstart your researching process to kind of help you out in this process of what do I want to do. But I also want to finish off this video with an encouragement saying that there's no way you're going to figure out what you want to do like today. After you read all those articles that I've linked, it's not like you'll know right away, but it's more like you're getting closer to what you really want you know like every article kind of help inch you closer and closer and closer to really what you see yourself doing it took me a long time to figure out that i am where i want to be doing what i want to do and i'm gonna be honest i'm not exactly where i want to be with my career yet because i still have a lot more experiences and a lot more learning i can do which is the fun part i guess but I'm getting closer and closer. It's a process of trial and error. It won't always kind of fit into this puzzle as we would like things to at times, but everything is a learning experience. So that's it for this week's Mental Health Monday. I hope that this video was able to help you out in any way possible. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.